Hey everyone, Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. Today I just want to do a bit of a DAX formula deep dive here. I want to look into parallel period and how you can use this in, a, in quite an effective way inside to run a few calculations. I think very quickly you'll see, you might find some other usages uh, you know, different to what I'm going to showcase here, but at least I'm going to talk through the logic and how it actually works. So parallel period is a time intelligence function, right? So what it uh, and what it does is it actually goes back and jumps back to a time window that you specify and then goes and does a full calculation of that particular time window. Okay, and so let's, let me drag it in and let's have a quick look at the results. So you see here that we have a result on every single row we have a basically like a total result right and so what parallel period is doing inside of calculate is it's jumping back one year and then looking at that entire year summing up that entire year sales and bringing that into the new context and so you see here 11 million 565 well let's just jump back to 2016 very quickly and you'll see 11 million 565 right and so all it's doing is it's then bringing that 11 million 565 into here. So, and, and uh, you can do a little bit more with it. So you can, so instead of going, say, back one year, what you can do is you can just back, jump back one quarter. And so you see here that it's a you know, slightly different result within this table and that it's actually jumping back. So these 3 million odd, that's just these three numbers um, counted up here, right? And then we are working out, okay, well, uh, and then what we could work out, and what, what I want to show you, is that we we could work out some percentages um, of you know of totals, percentage of totals, like how are we actually going versus last quarter's results, you know, how are we going versus last year's results, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Before I then show that, just one other example is that you can actually go plus as well. So you could go plus quarter two, um, or plus year, or you know, however you like. But in this case, I'm just going to go minus year, minus one year. And so you're going to see that that full result come through. But what I also want to bring in here is a cumulative total. Now, I'm not going to cover cumulative totals because I've done this before. So if you do want to see how cumulative total is calculated, uh, type that into the search bar and you'll, you'll certainly see one from Enterprise DNA uh, on Enterprise DNA TV. So check that out. So I'm going to bring cumulative total in here. And so maybe you can start you know, quite quickly see what I'm going to try and showcase here. But basically, we have our cumulative sales now, and we have our total from last year, right? And so what would be an interesting piece of analysis here is, is saying, well, from a percentage perspective through this year, how did we actually go based on our last year's results? And so that's exactly what I've done here. And you'll see that the formula is not difficult. If you if you implement measure branching effectively, and you start you know, start simple, and then branch out to you know these well, I wouldn't even call them advanced, but if you branch out into these uh, these additional this additional logic, it's relatively seamless, right? And so if I drag this in, I've already done some pre-formatting here. You'll see how this actually adjusts or changes through time, and we can see well, we ended up 103% over what we were last year. So pretty interesting insight, right? And then we could say show that in a visualization like so. So that's the perfect, this is a perfect use case of parallel period. But the key, the key concept of how parallel period actually works is that it opens up a time window based on which, uh, you know, where that time window is or what you specify. Okay, so it goes and looks back. So you might be in any particular context and it's saying, okay, we'll go and back and look back one year and return that entire year's results or go and look back one quarter or go and look back one month um, so for instance th that should be a relatively dynamic calculation in there um, no it's not it's not a dynamic calculation because what we would need to do um, if we wanted to do it by quarter we'd need to change cumulative sales to only look at the quarter as well so what we could do is we could we could change cumulative sales to like quarter to date and that that calculation would work quite smoothly there but in this case we need actually to go to go year Fairly, you know, I, I think that you know this is this is this is truly a um, you know a, a great insight, right? You're, you're you're very easily being able to, and, and and the great thing about parallel period is how easy it makes us. If you had to um, do this dynamically using filter functions, there would be a lot more to it, 
there'd be a, there'd be a slightly longer formula um, than something you know, as simple as utilizing parallel period. It's a great time intelligence function. Okay, very short and sweet today. That's all I wanted to cover because you know, that's all you need to cover with parallel period. It's not, um, you know, it's not the most advanced formula, the most advanced concept, but it's a good one. A good one to have in the back pocket and pull out um, when you need a unique calculation like like the one I just showcased. Okay, definitely subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Lots of great content coming um, coming to you. Uh, really want to get that into your hands uh, and if you like this one and you got a bit out of it and learned 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 something new um, if you can throw the video a like i really appreciate it okay all the best talk to you soon